Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and today we're going to show you how you can perform a drag and drop using Playwright C Sharp.net. Start off, we won't actually go to it, and I'll show you manually what I want to do, and then we can jump into the code. It's a, it should be a nice quick win, it's nice and straightforward, but I'm going to show you two different ways of how you can do it. But first of all, let's go to the practice page. I want to scroll down until we see the drag and drop component, click here, and all we've got is this small box and the big box and you can see it says drag me and drag the small box here so if i click on this and drag you'll see that when we've dragged over it it's gone to a success so this is what we want to test for today so let's jump into the code then so at the moment all i've done is i've got my class set up and i've got my example test where nothing is happening so of course as always the first thing we want to do is say await page dot go to async and we want to go to whatever the page was. So in my case, I'm just gonna go directly to the page. So that should take us here to practice drag and drop, of course, without it being dragged first of all. So for the first way I wanna show you is the easiest way, and this is the quickest way of doing it, where we can say, await page dot, uh, we'll do it by test ID, I believe it's got a test ID. And I think the test ID is small box but let's just double check so let's inspect this let's go here and we've got class id there we are test id of small box and the other one is large box so i can take that so i'm going to say get my locator of small box i then want to say i want to perform the drag operate operation on it and that's drag to asynchronous and if we just hover it here you can see drag to the source element towards the target element and drop it so what it's saying is this is the source element the small box and we want to drag it to another element so you might have guessed it it's going to be page dot get by test id and whatever other locator one was which i think was large hyphen box let's double check Yes, that's right. I'm actually going to copy and paste it just because manual typing will give me some errors normally because I'll mess something up. So there we are. We've said drag it to the large box. And of course, we're missing a bracket here. That's why we've got the error. And that's all we need to do. So what this is going to do is go to our page. And like I said, it's going to get the locator of small box. It's going to drag it to the locator of large box, which in our example was this. So let's run this then and see what happens. I'll chuck a breakpoint here. Let's uh, build our solution and go to our test explorer. And if I go to here, we're inside the record. So I'm going to go down to this one, which is playground example, which matches up with our test. If we debug, then let's see what happens. Of course, I've, I've done the debug, the breakpoint after the actual action. So we should see success. There we are, let's load it up here, and you can see it's gone to success. And tell you what, we'll actually close this down and we'll stop it and we'll redo it. And I'll put the breakpoint on here as well so we can see it before it's dragged. And then I'll continue over it and we'll see it's dragged to it. So here's the first point, but it stopped on this breakpoint before it's done the drag. Now, if I continue over and we load that back up, you can see success has happened and we can continue away from it. Now that's the super easy way and that's probably the way you're going to be using most, the way you're going to be using most often. However, I just want to show you the manual way as well because if if this doesn't work for whatever reason or you need something a bit more detailed when you drag to multiple things, well, it's always good to know it. So what we can do is let's just say manual way, which is pretty much what this way here, easy way recommended under the hood the manual way is what this one does but this encapsulates it makes it all nice and easy for you but what we can say is await page dot get by test id again and we'll say small box dot hover so what we're saying is get our cursor and hover over the small box now we'll say await page dot mouse dot down async so we're going to click the mouse down so you're forming that click you're not moving yet but because we this will keep the mouse held down what we can then say and you probably are guessing it is if i copy this locator we'll say await page dot get by test id large box and we'll say dot hover 
async. And of course, we want to drop it then. So we'll say await page dot mouse dot app async. And that's going to do the exact same thing like this does under the hood. So this will hover over an element that will be dragged. It'll perform the left down the left mouse button to click down and it will hold it. It will then navigate to the locator, which would be large box, and then it perform the release of that left mouse button click. And let's just show this working as well and tell you what, we'll put a breakpoint there before it does anything. Let's debug the test. So here we are, nothing's happened at the moment. If I continue over, what you can see now is it's dragged in, it's performed that manual way. So if you have multiple elements you want to go to, you can do the manual way. And let's continue that so the test passes and all is really good. And that's how simple it is to do a drag and drop using Playwright c -sharp. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I've also enabled super thanks. So if you do want to help contribute towards the running of my channel or my website, you can do that via that. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.